Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now February 13th of 2022, and ever since the very end of the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 7, a lot of Star Wars fans around the world have been very intrigued about exactly what George, John, and Dave are going to be doing with Star Wars Legends, getting mixed together with the new Star Wars material, and exactly how that's all going to evolve over the next couple of years to come. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So what's even all the more exciting right now is that we have a lot of things happening behind the scenes when it all dwindles down to shows like the Ahsoka Tano series, The Mandalorian Season 3, Star Wars Andor, and other TV shows that have yet to have been announced that will be unveiled at Star Wars Celebration. So just keep that in mind that not only do we have a lot of TV shows in store to be announced, but also a lot of Star Wars movies, a lot of books, novels, and comics. That's all going to really intertwine together to make up this new universe by George, John, and Dave. Now, we already know that Disney CEO Bob Chapek is really allowing all of this to happen, so we do have to give him quite a bit of credit for allowing John and Dave to really do their work and what they did with the scenes within the Book of Boba Fett series. You know, obviously a lot of fans loved chapters 5 and 6 the most for obvious reasons. And when we go ahead and look at everything related to what they have planned for not just Mandalorian Season 3, but also, of course, the Mandalorian Season 4, that just goes to show you of how expansive Star Wars is going to become in the next couple of years and how we're going to look back on 2021 and this year in a couple of years from now and how it's going to really differ. So on top of all of this, what's really intriguing is what Disney CEO Bob Chapek recently had to say about the roadmap of the Star Wars universe and specifically about the High Republic era. Now, with the Ahsoka Tano series now all set to begin filming by this April with Rosario Dawson and Hayden Christensen, both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have been working on multiple other projects that will be announced later at Star Wars Celebration. Now, meanwhile, Star Wars Andor Season 2 will be filming later this year as well. It's described, however, that Disney CEO Bob Chapek has been making many changes, one of which is when he recently canceled the High Republic Star Wars trilogy project. Bob Chapek recently engaged in an interview where he talked about this further. Chapek goes on to state that it's our job to make sure that we are going to be doing everything that we can possible to do, of course, and make this franchise live up to expectations for the fans. We are looking at Lucas's old work as well as new material that we can use and fuse together. However, some projects that we had in the pipeline had to be discontinued for multiple reasons that I can't really get into right now. Some of those projects had to do with initial plans for adapting the High Republic into the form of a trilogy. Before I stepped in as CEO, Disney, of course, was toying around with the idea for a long time. So let me just stop right here for a second. Now, when Bob Iger, all right, the previous Disney CEO was running things, this is when a lot of Kathleen Kennedy's ideas were all greenlit and were moving along well in production until Chapek stepped in. I would say about, I would say around the first to second quarter of 2020. It was right around that time frame. And once he stepped in, that's when Kathleen Kennedy lost her creative power over the majority of the Star Wars TV shows and movies. And it's exactly why you're not really seeing her bud in to a lot of the other projects like Mando Season 3, Ahsoka Tano, you know, everything related to that as well, Star Wars Andor. You know, she's only really involved in the Acolyte TV series and this other Star Wars project. We're going to talk about that a little bit later as well. That's going to be pretty much a Stranger Things in Space type of TV show. I'll get into that a little bit later on. Now... We already know that the High Republic is something that not a lot of fans are really enjoying right now. There are, of course, fans that enjoy it. That's fine and okay and all. But there's a lot of fans, and there's no mistake here that the majority of the fan base does not enjoy the High Republic era. So, moving on from that, long before the books were even settled in, and it just wasn't working in the long run, Chapek says. We can't focus on playing things safe anymore or focusing on smaller scale stories to save our budget. What we have been doing is going the extra mile to make sure that we can succeed in making this franchise into something unlike it was ever before. 
I have been speaking to Lucas about this for a while now, and we both agreed that tough choices needed to be made, including the cancellation of some of our projects that we never really discussed thoroughly with the fans. All I can say is that there are other projects planned to expand different eras besides the post-episode 6 format that we are not involved in right now. And we are, we are exploring all different avenues. As for the High Republic, we realize it does have a fan base, but nothing near as large as we had hoped enough to make them into movies that would hold a big budget just yet. It's something that we need to really wait on and see how that era involves, of course, and evolves, or doesn't. It will be making further announcements, of course, on all of this, about our plans with new Star Wars films and shows in the coming months that I believe is really going to make fans happy and looking forward for the next couple of years. We know that some fans love the High Republic, we just need to be very careful with how we expand that thoroughly for other fans around the globe that are not familiar with it or those that don't necessarily hold an interest in that point in time. It's something that we are discussing every single day on how we can create such a balance, but for the time being we had to discontinue some projects related to the High Republic just to create a breathing room for this era and to focus on other points such as the video games that we also have planned with Lucasfilm. So, the other thing that I think I really need to bring up that's very important of what Chapek says here is that they had to create breathing room when it comes to the High Republic era, and I think that what he's actually pointing out here is that there's a lot of things being made for the High Republic in the forms of books as we speak. There's a Phase 2, a Phase 3, they're looking to go even beyond that already. You know, obviously it has a fan base, it's just not a very big fan base. You know, if you look at a lot of the Star Wars fans online, a lot of which will say that they don't necessarily enjoy the High Republic era for multiple aspects, you know. When you look at everything related to how it kind of shifts away from traditional, you know, uh, you know, tra traditional elements of Star Wars, essentially, it shifts away from a lot of George Lucas's vision. It really is something on a blank canvas that was built. Now, keep in mind, a lot of the High Republic was Kathleen Kennedy's idea, and her newest project is, in fact, going to be based within the High Republic era. We talked about this a couple of days ago. It is her last and final project that she will have creative control over, aside from the Acolyte TV series. It is going to be an all-kids show. Not necessarily meant for kids, but it's going to be an all-kid cast. So it's going to be about teenagers in the galaxy, you know, pretty much trying to find their way home. It's going to be Stranger Things in Space, based within the High Republic era. That's the overall format, that's the overall, you know, theme that they're trying to go for. Stranger Things in Space. And some fans may like this, some fans may not like this, but it is going to be based in the High Republic just as the Acolyte is going to be. And I think that's one thing that a lot of fans are going to be very on edge about on whether or not it's going to be a success or not, or whether or not Bob Chapek is, you know, going to really market that correctly. Of course, it was against himself, you know, this was in Kathleen Kennedy's project, we discussed this, that anything that was pretty much pitched or greenlit, you know, right before Chapek was, you know, in control and called it quits with Kathleen Kennedy having a lot of creative power, that's when, of course, some of the projects like The Acolyte and this one in particular was able to actually come into fruition. Now, we already know that Leslie Headland is working still on the Acolyte series. They've been having a lot of trouble with that. But this new one, I'm really hoping that we don't necessarily have to see this. You know, we'll have to wait and see, you know, how it turns out. But it doesn't sound good to me, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.